One transgender man told me it's not simply about physical looks. Instead, he just wants other people to see what he's seen in himself his entire life. I've been identified as male as early as three years old. His birth certificate reads female, but DJ Labayan Arvello knew that wasn't right. As sure as you know as you're left-handed or you're right-handed. I knew exactly who I was. At 21, DJ started taking hormones. The testosterone changed his voice and his facial hair. It's different when you're a trans person because you always feel out of place. In 2012, DJ met Jonah. A few years later, they got pregnant. Technically, I incubated her. She was a breech baby, so I had to have a C-section in order for her to be born. It was the most masculine thing that I've ever done. Their daughter, Anuheya, was born in 2015. You ate all the candies? I ate all the lollipops. All the lollipops. Maybe it was some sort of a hidden gift for me to be a trans person so that I can be a gay person to bring this beautiful person into the world. She knows no color. She knows no sex, no gender, no, no nothing. But DJ knows not everyone has that same outlook. It is direly important for us to just be able to walk through a room and not have anybody look at us twice. So DJ got a full hysterectomy. And then this just past January is when I had got my chest done. The doctor who did the surgery, Dr. John Brocious, he teaches at the UNLV School of Medicine. It kind of blew me away that this day and age that people were still you know, treating transgender patients as second-rate citizens. That's when Dr. Brocious noticed the lack of resources in Las Vegas for transgender people. There are very few providers in town that can provide not only the surgical care for them, but also the hormonal care, the psychiatric care, um, the counseling that they need. He estimates he performs 15 gender surgeries a month and the list keeps growing. These patients have been waiting for their surgeries for almost their whole lives. A lot of us do a lot of research for many, 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 many years. Um, ultimately, one day we would like to offer the full spectrum of surgeries, uh, medical treatments, therapies, even under one roof one day. Dr. Brocious is creating a network of healthcare providers in the Valley who have the same passion as him. My goal is also to offer um, genital surgeries, hopefully within the next year. This is the sort of care DJ says he only could have dreamed of years ago. He wants to do all these amazing things for the transgender community that uh, geographically, Nobody's really doing in this region. DJ is Mr. Las Vegas Pride 2019, the first transgender man to hold the title. While he's secure in his identity, happy with who he is on the inside, oh. <laughs> DJ knows the feeling all too many transgender people face while making the transition. I, I can't even explain to you the confidence that I have just being able to walk through a place and not have people just be like, because that, that is a look and that's a feeling that never ever goes away. DJ says that confidence is something he was seeking for decades and it wouldn't have been possible without providers like Dr. Brocious. These are the happiest patients that I've ever encountered in my entire career. So life hasn't been kind to the, the transgender people and the more that I work with them, the more that I realize that and it really has um, created a passion for me. Dr. Brocious has hired a new plastic surgeon, urologist, and ear, nose, and throat doctors. Some roadblocks he's facing includes making sure all of this care is covered by insurances and hospitals. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.